Alrighty, we are here. I wanted to save, just like basically hopping right in. We're gonna, uh, oh wait, stream is, oh, let me make sure Stream the stream layout is not reading this. All right, we're good? We're good, okay. So we are now beginning with Tales of Zilla. Hello everybody. I am Writer Who Writes, also known as Echo Stray. On uh, Monday, we went and finished Tales of Symphonia. And now, we are beginning uh, probably the earliest Tales game I have experience with outside of uh, Tales of Symphonia. And uh, one of my favorite Tales games, to be perfectly honest. There's just a lot of really interesting character bits in this. And... Um, there are actually some similarities we'll see between this game and Symphonia, so... But Tales streams are almost always, like, getting copyright, like, uh, claims or whatever. So I don't really see too much of an issue of watching the opening here. This game has a lot of has a really strong cast in my opinion, and we'll we'll get to them as as they come. Uh, and uh, there's a there's just a it's got a, a lot of really interesting elements. Be so I'm playing this on like original PS3 hardware. Like I got the big old honking thing right here next to me um, on my desk. So. Uh, <laughs> That means that I more or less kind of just have to deal with it taking up a ton of space in, uh, like for the next foreseeable future. But yeah, um, I'm not sure what resolution this game is from like a technical standpoint, but like, I mean, it's a PS3, so. Uh, but yeah, I think if I do New Game Plus, I'm pretty sure main thing here, right, is, let me just double check something. I don't think I have to carry over levels, but, oh wait, do I have to do a clear data? This clear data? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, we'll just do, we'll just do a normal new game. So, I do actually have a good chunk of, uh, downloadable content for this game. Um, in like costumes and whatnot, but the way I, ca I tend to deal with that in games where they, they have a bunch of costumes, I typically try to just leave that, um, for like other stuff or like, like specifically when I'm, if, if I'm feeling kind of like spicy in the moment, usually my first playthrough, I'll go and play without any costumes and I'll, um, I might mess with things as time goes on, depending on the, on how I feel, in terms of the look. I generally like think that most of the game looks better in their original, like, designs. Oh, and this game has a lot of voice acting, so I don't have to go and kill my throat <laughs> as much when it's, like, with some of the older games that I play, so... I 
I wouldn't be surprised. I wonder if this is still Ufodable that's doing the like anime cutscenes for all of this. Dying. I see. <laughs> Our very first sentence. You I fear the power of Spyrex is behind this. We should investigate. That wasn't there before. So how long has it been? Six years? Time sure flies. Come. Benmont awaits. Right. When man and spirit coexist, dreams and wishes are fulfilled. Such is the life of all who live in Reese and Maxia, where hope springs eternal. The spirits have the power to bring man's wishes to fruition, and in turn, those wishes preserve and protect the spirit's livelihood. Therefore, it could be said that Maxwell, the lord of the spirits, is in fact the guardian of all things. In this world, no known evil exists that could threaten this harmonious cycle. But if one did, perhaps it might lurk in the hearts of men. Yeah, uh, if you're uh, pro-humanity, there's a few things this game has to say about you. Hey! Oh, so sorry! Ah. Hey! Sorry! I gotta move. <laughs> So, um, you can choose between playing as either Jude or Mila. Um, Jude is, for all intents and purposes, our, our like, typical, like, main character. Um, I feel like if this were any other Tales game, it would just, you'd only have the option to play as Jude. Um, if you, you probably in that brief moment, if you, if you have any passing knowledge of, like, older anime from like the the like mid to late 2000s you've probably heard this guy before i do not know his name but he was a really famous voice actor um you probably know him in the original um uh fate stay night he was uh shiro emia um for uh, for an example if in um the original version of final fantasy 14 uh, he voiced Alpha now. I should really look up this guy's voice actor. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah. So, and then Mila, over here, um... I can't, I can't say for certain without checking, but I... I feel like she was probably one of the first, if not the first, like, female, like, protagonist. Like, playable, like, this is, like, this is Mila's story thing. Uh, that we got. We later would go and get, you know, another one later on with Tales of Berseria. But, like, one of the things I find really interesting about this game is just the fact that, you know, we we have the option between these two characters. Which is uh, kind of a shame that 
that stopped being the case after a very brief bit of time. But I'm going to choose to play as Mila. Um, there's only very brief sort of bits between the two uh, that are different. So it's not like, oh boy. Like, it, it's it's enough that, like, if you, if, if, if you were to play this game, like, casually, I would actually recommend doing a New Game Plus playthrough to do, see the other side. So. Onward. Mila is a really interesting person, as we will very quickly find out. I sense it up ahead. She's walking on water. Hello, Jude. Uh, hi. Be quiet. Just keep quiet, and I won't need to hurt you. Wait, why are you breaking into the lab? What are you... <laughs> She's like, I just said to be quiet. That's strange. What part of keep quiet didn't you understand? So, ready to hold your tongue now? <coughs> so much noise. Could you try coughing quietly? What are you doing here anyway? Can I talk? I dropped something. I was just picking it up, see? What are you up to? The guards will be here any second. That's why I need to hurry, and you need to go home. Before they arrest you for trespassing. Bye, Jude. Yes, the lesser spirits in this area have gone silent as well. Yeah, that does have that other... power anomaly we felt when it happened, the one that absorbed the spirits, its source is here. Why do humans persist in seeking power that could destroy the world? They don't need Spyrex to survive. Hmm? Yes, it must be their work. That's my gut reaction anyway. Mind you, it's not just any gut reaction. It's Maxwell's instinct. Isn't that enough? Look, that's enough talk for now. Let's find the Spyrex. All right. Yep. So this kind of UI is definitely what I'm more used to because I start my very first game was uh, was Zillia, not Zillia, um, Zestiria. So having the whole like hold down the button, be like, oh yeah, go find the Spyrex, like just kind of UI direction. It's a lot more like. What I have dealt with. Okay. Treasure chest. Okay. Alright, and we are back into the realm of having to hit 
triangle for... Do I have any costume? To... I think it's... Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go. Into the sewers. Hey, where do you think you're going? Shh. No need to make a scene. Cooperate and I'll go easy on you. Intruder! You're under arrest! She just said to cooperate, man. I feel like... Uh, let's do a tutorial just because it's been a while. Oh. You shouldn't have interfered. That's right, I have free run again. I c don't I can run in circles. It's been so long. Out of my way. Actually, uh, yeah. And then you got I warned you. The guarding, yeah. Up. You okay. are far too weak. Step, yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's right. Triangles continue for whatever reason. Will help your cause. Yeah. Let's finish this. Press circle to perform art. So yeah. Uh, art is way more of what Mila is all about. Like, you do have, obviously, like, your attacks. Like, your normal combo attacks. But, uh, oh boy. Next. Next. You would still be alive. Had you minded your own business. She literally just hit one button and they exploded, by the way. This game does do that thing where at the end of certain uh, in combat cards, they're like, here's a little hint text box. I don't I feel like for the life of me, I have never read any of them. Uh, can I increase the sensitivity on... Here we go. I want this to move faster. And then, that's right. Start is confirmed for it. Alright. Uh, it's a little floaty, but I mean, I just kind of have to deal with it. save here um let's just do a new save yeah i i one thing i will say like if we were playing as jude right now there'd be a lot more of a i feel like jude gives you a bit slower of a introduction to what's going to happen because there's a whole section right before this where you, you see like him just being like a doctor man. But like, right, right, with, <laughs> as soon as you start up with Mila, it's like, hey buddy, do you want to just be super confused if you start with that? Uh, okay. Let's go with that. More, more, more combat. All right. Fireball. Uh, where are it? There we go, arts. And then, okay. Flame, come forth. Fireball. Oh yeah, that's right. No. No. Okay. And then, spirit art. Yeah. Is based off of how long you hold the button. Far too easy. So yeah, she's got the four great spirits: Ifrit, Sylph, Undine, and No. You know, considering I played this game, I should have re realized that the Symphonia Ifrit was spelled that way. I just never processed it in my head. I guess I truly am head empty on the inside and out. Also, Ifrit is way better than just freaking Fireball. 
I, I'll, I'll be good. Alright. It's a weird lab. Yes, it's certainly a big facility. But we'll find it if we search hard enough. Right. Yep, mini map. And Look at this. square is full. Oh, that's right, this game cuts out the, the, the audio if you interrupt it once. <laughs> Far too easy. Is she, yeah, she's level one, by the way. <laughs> Gel. I will absolutely need lots of those later. Oh yeah, so I can I can hold on circle and move even slower. This is a world without dash buttons. All right, I'm mostly just checking for items. Ah, here we go, there's the chest. Apple gel. It's locked, you need a key. Oh wait, yeah, we can take the uh, the little stairs over there. My sword rings true. But yeah, as you can see, her sword is not her uh, most damaging ability right now. I must. No, my sword rings true. Rockfall, you dead. Okay, uh, let's just do another save for the sake of making. I th I'm, I think this is one of those games where you can skip through cutscenes easily, but. Uh, until we have a reason to find out for certain, we'll just Honestly, play with careful. all of you around, what is there to fear? Honestly, yeah. Same, In Milia. Here? Event list updated. Alright. And then let's get the chest. Black bottle. I am getting a phone call. My apologies. I will take this very quickly.
All right, I have left you with the spooky music for too long. Let's return. That... Oh, quit trying to act calm. Jude, how'd you get ahead of us? It's that girl. Ha <laughs> ha! So you're the visitor I heard about. This guy's no fun. I'll kill you first! <sighs> Run! Nice fight. I'll rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! There's people in jars. I prefer you did that. You here to help, Jude? You're... Who the hell are you? I don't have time to explain. Leave now and I may spare you from any bodily harm. Like hell? <laughs> no! No! You have to be kidding me! Obliterated. Is that a freeze? You are correct. The Lord of Fire. I can't believe you were able to summon him. Hello. My, this is my friend Ifrit. Excellent. Level 2. That wasn't too bad. We got GP, which you'll see plenty about in the future. Whoa. I told you to go home. Don't tell me you live here. No, of course not. I'm sorry. Uh, uh... Is this the work of the Spyrex? The what -ix? Could he be connected to the disappearance of the lesser spirits? Huh? You're losing me. Disappearing spirits? You really need to go home. Someone might not swoop to your rescue next time you're in trouble. The Spyrex must be somewhere else. Hey, wait! I'm kind of trapped here. If the professor were with me, they might have let me leave, but... Can I come with you? <laughs> I see. If you stick with the person who saved you, then you won't need any more saving. Clever boy. Boy, you don't look that much older than me. My name is Jude Mathis. I'm Mila. Mila Maxwell. All right. Still shaking. My hands are still shaking. And for good reason. You were almost killed. I'm a civilian. Why would she attack me like that? I don't think she's part of Roshigal's army. If she's not a soldier, then what is she doing at a military facility? An ironic question for you or I to ask, don't you think? I see your point. Did you... did you kill her? I'm not sure. I tried to go easy on her, but humans are so fragile. I keep having to tell the Four not to overdo it. I'm not really following you. Very fragile indeed. Next order of business. Are you finished here? Huh? I assume you had some reason for coming to this place. I was worried because Professor House hadn't come back, but he's... One of the people who died while connected to that machine? Yeah. I can't believe it. The Professor had been so excited about the request from Orda Palace. I see. Hmm? Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Huh? Oh, wait for me! <sighs> Mila definitely just kind of marches to the beat of her own drum. I keep, I'm like, is there a, like a, an attack button or anything like that in this game? And I'm like, no, there's not. Okay. I was just trying to remember. Hmm? What's going on? Our lilium orbs are shining. 
I've been wondering what this thing is since I set off. My handmaid told me I had to carry it with me. Well, it comes in handy if you face monsters. It gives you the power to fight them. Basically, I got one myself when I left home, just in case. Uh, yeah, I don't so, need the tutorial. For that's this. how it works. This is actually my first time developing it too. I see. So it's a tool that taps into inherent abilities. I imagine that powerless humans never leave home without them. You talk as if you're not human yourself. So yeah, uh, Lilium Orb, you get GP from, uh, winning battles, and, uh, you can split it into different, I mean, different stuff for level up, so. Uh, think of your, your typical sphere grids, more or less. Uh, let's see here, what do I want? These are just basic stat stuff. Uh, we're just kind of looking to see what spells are going to be where, so I can know which direction I want to build. Um, let's, let's go, let's, I typically like to build Mila as like a caster, more or less, so. So yeah, you see this right here, how I can't get it, I have to basically do, I'm, I'm, I'm basically drawing a path, right? And now I've unlocked this, which is momentary gain. So I get I get some uh, AC, which is basically how what you spend for like normal uh, for or rather it's what you spend for like arts that aren't like magic basically, or you also use it for like back jumping and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, but yeah, uh, I should probably build Jude as well. Jude um, is a uh, doctor, um, and because of that, on top of him just being really good, he has, uh, he's basically like, I, the best way I describe him is he, he's like a monk, in that he's got physical attacks, but also like some more like of a healing vibe. Let's, there we go. Yep. And <laughs> look at all this. So yeah, SP you just kind of get, <laughs> and uh, it's what you use to equip those abilities that like just unlocked. So Mila's already got all a bunch of abilities and that are unlocked and added. Same. Mila Maxwell. It must be pretty weird having the same name as the Lord of Spirits. Not at all. We are one and the same. I'm sorry? I am Maxwell, Lord of Spirits. What? Come on, you're totally human. You look just like a normal woman. I would hope so. That is the form I created for myself. The form you created? Yep. Oh, proof of identity. So you're that, Maxwell. Lord of spirits, ruler of elements. You don't believe me? A person claiming to be a spirit? It's a bit much to swallow. Then how do you humans prove your identities to each other? Well, by showing identification, I guess. I have a medical school ID card. Oh, then I doubt that I'll be able to prove my identity to your satisfaction. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to apply for a spirit ID card. <laughs> Is it really okay for me to be following this person? Jude. She might be pretty, but she's crazy. You gotta be careful. No. <laughs> Far too easy. Alright. And if I remember correctly, me. Yeah, if I wanted to, I can play as, like, just because, like, me, this is Mila, like, main character time, I can still be Jude and whatnot, so. 
This is mostly just going to be affecting whose like perspective of the story I'll be seeing. All right. Attack! Get out of the way! No. My sword rings true. We don't need to fight any of you. <sighs> At least the encounters load in really fast. Alright, let's go. Alright, hold comfort. I always wanted to live up to Professor House's expectations, but now he's dead. Hmm. What? What are you doing? I'm cuddling you. Uh, why? I read it in a book. When humans are upset, they feel better when you cuddle them. It's true. What book was that? A mother's eyes, a mother's touch. That sounds like a book about child rearing. I'm not a baby. This technique has no effect on you? Humans are so complicated. <laughs> well, I guess I do feel a little better. Thank you. Hmm? So it does work. They're throwing so many skits at me. Wait, doesn't this lead deeper inside? We're not heading to the exit? No. There's something seriously wrong here. Shouldn't we get out? Nah, man. I'm aware of the danger, but there's something I must find. I'm afraid I can't escort you out before then. Sure. After all, I was the one who asked to go with you. More or less. What's so funny? It's nothing. When my business here is done, I promise to see you safely out of here. There's no need to worry. Thanks. Alrighty. Uh -huh. My dude, recognize how many of your friends have been destroyed already. My sword rings true. You're not gonna have a good time fighting any of these crazy anime protagonists. I feel like it's one of those things where as soon as you see somebody, some like random civilian looking dude with crazy hair going in every direction, it's like, yeah, no man, you need to like escape. Over already? Oh, that's right, taunts exist. Alright, um, open more money. I'll come in handy. I think we need to go up to the second floor balcony again. Let's check. Oh, there. Oh, that's right. That's right. The little flickering light items in this game. Huh? What? Huh? Hello, dog. What? Am I? Oh wait, I need to say why I am out of. I'm like, why can't I summon any of the the e feeder any of buddy? Turns out I am out. Let me eat an orange. There we go. <laughs> I completely spaced on the fact that they cost uh, TP. <laughs> Months. All right, this isn't the way we're looking for. Let's keep moving. There we go. Who's next? Who's next? My sword rings true. Okay, I think. Oh, chest. Two chests, even. That dude's just walking into the wall. Huh? Apple gel. Crap. He mastered the art of turning around. But yeah, generally, so that like sword that you see next to her, um, Far too easy. her her TP gauge. That's that's AC. And generally, most of your normal like attacks and stuff like that will consume that. So, if you've played a lot of the like later, like modern era Tales games, you're probably used to that kind of mechanic. Huh? 
one of the things I really like about Tales of Arise is the fact that they do have that kind of like little meteor thing, but it's exclusively for special attacks. In a similar way to uh, Symphonia, the only difference there is that you have a bit more systems on top of it in Arise. Here we go. What is that? Gigantic. That's what it is. A Spyrex weapon. I knew it. You're just gonna touch it, Jude? The Lance of Kresnik? That's the name of the sage from the Genesis Age. Huh? What are you doing? I'm showing you my spirit ID, Jude. Hmm. So this is what humans call irony. Naming this weapon after Kresnik. Listen up. We must destroy that which harms man and spirit. Those are the four great spirits. So that really makes her Maxwell? Anime! How did you get ahead of us? Better than stand around, Jude. That's it. Mila, look down. Huh? Stop, or you'll be dragged in with it. Spirits? Wait. Take Mila and then run? Huh? What? What are you trying to do? Got the thing. No oh, great spirit. There she goes. Oh, we watched the opening already. Well, we can skip that. Uh, skip movie. Yeah, uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> I should have remembered that these games tend to play the, the openings there. You okay? Guess swimming isn't one of your powers, huh? It's not as easy as Undine makes it look. So you really have lost the power of the four great spirits. 
What are you gonna do now? Dry my hair. There's no way you could destroy that device without their power. You have a point. Perhaps if I were to return to Nia Kara. Listen, you've been a great help, Jude. Thank you. You should go home now. Wait! Yeah? You must be the intruder! If I said I wasn't, would you let me pass? Immediately walked forward Mila. into trouble. How foolish, Jude. You should have gone home like I asked. You in cahoots with her? <laughs> what? Haven't you ever wielded a sword before? Of course. But I always relied on the four's power to guide my arm. I no longer have hack mode. Their help. No more hacks mode. Come quietly or else. I can't believe I'm doing this. Time to beat up the police. Ah! Bonk, 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 All clear. The might of Beagle and Maxwell. Yep, I know what bonus CXP is. Do good, get good. <sighs> What's gotten into me? You saved me again, Jude. Thank you. Listen. You'd better get out of Fenmont while you can. Right. You have my gratitude. The city entrance is always crawling with police. You'd be safer heading to the Sea Haven. Hmm. The Sea Haven. Oh, okay. Bye, Jude. What you gonna do, Jude? You don't know where it is, do you? This way. So yeah, uh, for now I am I am gonna what should I name it? Uh, bu bu wait, uh, there we go. I'm gonna play as Jude, but we'll be walking around as Mila. I actually know a lot more about how Jude plays. All right, we got Demon Fist and Healer. Let's see. Yeah, I can use it on start. Um, let's... There we go. I'm sorry to have put you in this situation. It's okay. Besides, I still owe you for saving me. I'll show you to the Sea Haven. Jude is the kind of person... Vermont, the city built upon spirit arts. I must say it's quite the spectacle. Jude is the kind of person that would absolutely, like, if you, um, <laughs> if you were like, hey man, can I borrow, like, five bucks so I can go and, like, uh, like, pick up, get something from the grocery store? Or, like, borrow, like, five bucks for some gas? He would just, like, be like, okay, and then as soon as you walk away, would just follow after you, be like, are you sure you're, you're okay? Are you gonna get there alright? Obviously, Mila. The Sea Haven is on the opposite side of the city from here. We need to go towards the central plaza first. Obviously, Mila has absolutely no idea what she's doing. So it makes sense to go and help her in this situation, but Jude is a very particular. It's very. We can only get to the Sea Haven via the path that leads to Talum Medical School. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. My very first playthrough of this, I was like, yo, what the heck? Where is where where am I? Did you hear that noise earlier? It sounded like it was coming from the research district. A group of criminals have infiltrated the LaForge Research Center, and now the military is taking over. What a disaster. I don't think I can I access any of the shops? <laughs> Jude's like, no shopping. Sea Haven, go. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't think, I didn't think I would legit just like. Yeah, 
Demon Fang! Demon Fang! So yeah, this is Demon basically Fang. Demon Fang, but better. punch. I have like a the vague recollection of muscle memory combos that always pretty much start with a, a low kick with Jude. Right, uh, there sure is a lot of commotion all of a sudden. What happened? Was there an accident or something? I just saw a bunch of special forces soldiers go running by. What the heck is going on? So we go this way. If you head east from the entrance of Talon Medical School, you'll find the Sea Haven, uh, where's the ship stock? Oh, the sun light went away! Where did you go, Mr. S light Spirit? After crossing the central plaza, turn right at the first corner. <laughs> if Efreed were here, I'd never have to be drenched. Like this. Yeah, you can uh, you can definitely get away with clothing like this if you have a fire spirit keeping you warm constantly. Benmont isn't exactly your most cozy of uh, climates. You too. Stop right there! You huh? look like anime characters. What's going on? You're under arrest. Doctor? Doctor Jude? From a medical school? Mr. Eldon? Is that you? Wh what's going on here? I can't believe you are the one we're looking for. Jude Mathis, I have a warrant for your arrest. There's one for her, too. I'm authorized to use force if necessary, but I don't want to hurt you. But wait, just hold on a minute. We may have done a little breaking and entering, but that hardly makes us public enemy number one. No. So much for that. It looks like they're not listening. I mean, Mr. Eldon, it's not their job I'm to listen. Sorry, but I'm afraid I have my orders. Jude, I can't let them capture me. I have to resist. Then we'll do it the hard way. Go on, get her. Your aim is garbage, dude. Boat's leaving. This is goodbye, Jude. Forgive me for all of this. Think your next move over carefully, Doc. The more trouble you give us, the harder your sentence. It's just that I just wanted to. Hey. Well, aren't these military types brave? Protecting the world from pipsqueaks like you. Uh, who are you? Save the chit chat for the later. The coolest man. Your lovely lady friend's about to set sail, you know. Wait, but I. Listen close, kid. The military issued your warrant, and with the Military Powers Act invoked, you're an ex marked criminal. If they catch you, you'll face. My man is wearing a tie, execution. or a, a scarf what? as a tie. Execution? Look at that scarf. That is not a tie, that is a scarf. Come on. <laughs> Let's pick up Jude. He he could be luggage. I hope you're sturdier than you look. <laughs> What's going on here? The military's doing drills or something on shore. They were just getting out of their way. Right. Come on, do you really think a pipsqueak, a pretty girl, and a dashing man like me would be up to no good? We weren't paying attention to them trying to arrest you. Um... It's Alvin. Huh? That's my name. You said that you're Jude, right? Uh, yes sir. And this is Mila. Alvin. Hang in there, kid. 
Alvin is everything I wanted Zelos to be, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Just that big bro type dude. You just see Alvin walk into a room and you just can immediately feel the suaveness he's got. It's like actual charisma. That captain needs to lay off a bit. Is he planning to grill us the entire voyage? I mean, we are stowaways. What do you expect? We don't have any sort of identification. Speak for yourselves. I can't believe we're heading to Ajul. Look, we're leaving Fenmont Spirit Climb. And now, all of a sudden, it's daytime. You said you're a med student. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Hey, can I ask you something? Why did you save us? What's in it for you? Well, cash, of course. How does saving us make you money? Simple. I figure you must be in serious trouble if the military's after you. Now that I've swung to your rescue and impressed you with my daring do, I can charge you for my services. I'm your mercenary friend charge now. Charge us what? I'm nearly broke. Same goes for me, I'm afraid. Seriously? I take more than just cash, you know. Don't you have any precious metals? Jewels? Rich relatives about to croak? I could help them croak Nothing if you on want. me. Everything happens so fast. I doubt I have anything that would sell for a high price either. What exactly do you do, Alvin? You look like a soldier, but you sure don't act like one. <laughs> You're on the right track, kid. I'm a mercenary. It's better than being a soldier. We don't have to follow orders. We set our own hours, and we help people. For a price. I'm an independent. Well, it would seem like you helped us for free. Ah, uh, well, it's a risk of the trade. Maybe I'll find some paying customers in Anjou. Sorry about that. Charity work. Wonderful. <sighs> Are we there yet? Alvin. I will have to do everything within my power not to make Alvin and the Chipmunk references ar around him. That will show how old I am, but it's still just that that name is eternally seared with that association in my mind. <laughs> and, uh,. In case you're wondering, I'm not referring to the live-action version of them. I'm talking about, like, as a kid watching the, like, cart like reruns of the old cartoon on Cartoon Network. It's hard to believe we're in a whole different country. Or is it Disney? Although well, it two. feels just like home. Hmm? Well, this part of Ajul is hardly what I'd call exotic. Huh. Hey, there's a map. map Let indeed. me check it out for a bit. Brave kid, the way he plays it cool. Decided to make the best of it, has he? He's not as immature as he looks. Would it kill you to show a little concern? I mean, you dragged him into this, right? He insisted on helping me. I told him again and again to go home, but he wouldn't listen. He's here of his own accord. <laughs> I see. He believes he got himself into this mess, so now he has to put on a brave face. <laughs> Either way, he's still acting like an adult. North of here. Hmm. So? You leaving now? Bye, Alvin. No. Alvin, you must be well versed with the sword. Mercenaries like you must have some battle chops. Well, yeah, of course. Could you teach me how to use one? I don't have the four to back me up anymore. If I can't wield a sword, what's left? The four? Not sure I follow. But I'd be more than happy to teach you. If only you had some cash. So you won't help? Here, how about we make some moolah while I train you? What do you mean? Well, 
There's got to be some paying customers here in the Sea Haven, right? Let's take a look around. I was like, I will do everything in my power to help you. Just give me money. That's all I care about. I just need you to pay me so that I can help. Sub events. Alrighty. The Calamity Key. This was surging with mana when they activated their so-called Lance of Kresnik. So this must be the key they used to arm it. Do you want something? Whoa, hold your fire. I come in peace. Can't a mercenary have a friendly chat with his clients? No. That much is fine. But when you want to chat, you needn't hold your breath and sneak up behind me. Sheesh. You make me sound so unsavory. Do you berate poor Jude like this too? I don't intend to berate anyone. That was never my intention. Do try to be gentle with him. Boys can be so vulnerable. That's a surprisingly tender sentiment. That's what it says on my business card. The mercenary with a heart of gold. Oh. Those are good words to live by. Although, with a motto like that, I can't imagine you'd live very long. <laughs> Not the type to sugarcoat things, are you? It's more that she just doesn't have the ability to be anything but blunt. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I remember this. Summon materials. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't have enough to go and... Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm having a bunch of memory flashbacks with all of that. So, yeah, and these are the things that would be available once I go and upgrade the shops. They are, um... It's like a universal upgrade thing. So it's not like, oh, and each individual shop needs to be upgraded, but it's still one of those, you need to sit down and do a whole bunch of stuff. Kind of vibes. I, I'm beginning to, to notice now that I never set the time on this, on this PS3. <laughs> It's like it's 12.01 a.m. I'm like, is it? Wait, what day did it think it is? Okay, it at least understands that it's December 30th. This isn't connected to the internet, because I do not remember what my login is. So... Food closed, okay. Where's the music? I feel like there should be music. So these ships have spirits channeled into their sails to intensify the winds they catch. What a clever idea. Human spirit arts can be very impressive. Witness of defense. Let's see. What are you up to? Just trying to organize all of my notes for my thesis. Those in the books at a time like this? You sure are studious. Yeah, probably a waste of time. I'm sure I've already been expelled being an X-marked criminal and all. Ah, cheer up, kid. If I get a chance, I'll testify to the military and the school on your behalf. Shouldn't be hard to make the case that you're just a poor kid who got sucked into this. Thanks. But aren't you a wanted criminal, too? Ah, that. I guess I did flee you along did with you. You did punch the police. So if we get captured, I'll testify for you. I'll tell them that you're nowhere near as shady as you look. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. What do you mean I look shady? Oh, that's right. He's already in the party. Uh, let's see here. Status. Yeah, that's right. Doesn't he, like, fight with, like, a gun and a sword or something like that? What? Is I forget. All right. They were like, look for a side quest. I'm not... Seeing any? Am I not? Oh wait, here it is. Okay, yeah, and it doesn't show up on the actual thing. Hey there, you've got a request, right? How about letting us handle? Alvin it? can tell psychically when someone has a request. Oh, you're mercenaries. Oh, perfect timing. What kind of request? Someone's got a problem with monsters. We get paid to solve their problem. 
Easy, no? Oh. So by taking on these jobs, you get the reward and I get the practice. Right. Everybody wins. Well, except the monsters. Ah, the monsters are coming. Okay. Hit us with the details. Some monsters we've never seen before are lurking near a lake west of the Sea Haven. A lot of people depend on that lake for water, so those monsters have become a real nuisance. I'm looking for someone to exterminate the beasts. Sounds easy. What's the reward? Cash, of course. You heard the woman. Thoughts? Sounds fine to me. Fighting monsters will be good training. Excellent. Now these beasts are no pushovers, so please watch yourselves. Alrighty. Now we can head out into the field about your sword training the monsters aren't just going to stand there like training dummies you know we should go over some basics first I appreciate it ready your sword Now you have more than just a basic attack combo. Well, that'll do. Or rather, a one-hit combo. You have my gratitude. You good? Shall we go? Wait, Jude. Take a moment to consider your situation. You don't have to stay with me anymore, you know. Uh, right. Now that we've crossed the border, it'll be a while before any pursuers from Rashugal get here. What are you suggesting? Just that he still has some time to think things over. Sorry, I'll make up my mind by the time you set off. Okay, very well. Let's go and complete that very request. Well. I will go along with this. You thought you were doing the right thing. And now you're on the run. That's a pretty tough lesson for a kid your age. Yeah, but I brought it upon myself. Well, you can't flack him for being irresponsible, that's for certain. I think just talking, yeah. Like, hey, go, go, here's the details, go do it. Oh, my phone is at 2% battery power, let me fix that. There we go. Shining. Perfect. Mine too. Oh, that's Wait, right. You two have orbs too. Great. We should try linked combat. I forgot What's they that? had this. Lilium orbs are handy things. They let you sense your companion's intent. That's a huge advantage in battle. You can coordinate your thoughts to pull off combination attacks. We call this linking. Sounds great. But how do we do it? Well, try it and see for yourself. Focus your consciousness into the Lilium orb. How do I do that though? So yeah, it's something almost exactly the same kind of vibe from Trails of, the, uh, Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, I do not remember this off the top of my head. All right, try linking up. So this is linking. Uh -huh. Okay, it's time to flank them. Oh, that's right. Okay. Behind it, allowing you to flank them. It's like I can sense what Meal is going to do. No! 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 Burn! Hey, watch your back. I'll help. Ha! Right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is basically sort of like a way to keep the AI units. Are you okay? Not yet. Yeah. Jude, restore when your partner is knocked down, he will heal you. Get resurrected. I think you're ready to learn nice. some linked arts. So the attack is. Okay. Mila. Wait. Uh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Over. That's right. Okay. 
Okay. And shut up. It's over. Windblade. Only dark to fuse the cage. Let's right. finish this quickly. Now to speed it up. There we go. Victory born from cooperation and friendship. Not bad, right? Yes, I quite like it. I feel much better knowing I'm not fighting alone. <laughs> right there with you, buddy. Okay. Yeah. And with only three people, one person has to be left unlinked for now. But... Uh, isn't there a... Okay. I feel like there's some... Is there a... I'm trying to remember if... I feel like... I might be getting my memories crossed with the, the Cold Steel games. Of there being like an affection or like... Something that levels up by having that sort of connection with somebody build up. Like I don't know how to deal with this. Be able to stop staring at my hands. That wasn't too bad. So this is experience. All right. Um, what do we want to level or choose? Yeah, I'll, I like never do auto leveling stuff in games. I want to get some Cerberus kick is really good. I could get here. Let's get Swallow Dance. There we go. And yeah, we need to get her some spells. This is ultimately a thing where you'll end up getting everything. Like it's not like a, oh boy, I need to pick wisely or else I'll, you know, like no you'll if just playing the game will lead you to going and getting more or less uh like filling out the whole grid though it will definitely take you a good chunk of time <laughs> all right um let's do swallow dance with it up oh my goodness that gabu noise <laughs> That's right, okay. Let me... I think I had Swallow Dance set to forward. There we go. I can still do better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try what I can to not just go and like fight literally every mob that we come across. But it is important to level up. Okay, I do have the recovery ability. I did it! Oh, that's right, chain chance. I don't... Just keeps getting better. I know there's a. That's a special thing once you have the full gauge, but I, I think that requires more people. You seem to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. 
Well, I had a friend I trained with who used to shout sparring time and attack sparring me out of the blue. Time. So it's probably thanks to her. I see. It's sparring I'd time, too. wind up on the ground covered in bruises. I'm sorry to dredge up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what... Wait. <laughs> Was it? Was I a bullied child? What? Honestly, being a little boy, getting bullied by <laughs> by a girl like that, you just probably don't even know how to properly deal with it. Especially with how, like, basically, like, innocent Jude is. Is fighting the Perfect. only answer? Yes. This is the only answer. I can't... I, I'm sorry to tell you this, Jude, but it's the only answer because you're really good at it. So yeah, these little sparkly node spots will, uh... more or less refill as, uh, time goes on. Oh wait no, how this works is I can just basically spam as much as I want. That's how chain chains work. Okay, yeah, yeah I remember, now I remember. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There's some really, it's more or less like, once we get, like there are more combos that we can, like, or combination attacks we can do later on. Okay, only, uh, only demon, uh, demon. There we go. Only demon can black and cross over. Oh, that's right, that's an AoE too, as well. Is fighting the only answer? Yes. Okay. Um, I think. Oh, chest, 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 chest. Just uh apple jam. Oh, why is everyone's HP so low? There we go. Were we just getting beat up and I had bothered to look at the L? Or is it from level up? Out of our way. Yeah, getting a good lineup on Final Gale is really useful in the early game. I can still do better. Okay, and let's keep moving. I'm pretty sure we need to be heading west, right? Is there anything in the corner over here? Good thing is, by doing a lot of this exploration stuff here, uh, here and now, we'll be able to, uh, like, buy the, uh, shop up- or, like, get the shop upgrades later on. Because a lot of the, the items that you pick up here, they're classified specific ways so that you can go and, like, turn them in. Don't get killed! <laughs> Burn. 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 That's pretty cool. Okay, it's do all right. And then when it, when becoming an enemy pounding demon fang, all right, interesting. When he charges it, okay, okay. All right. Um. You know what? I will accept Alvin being able to heal. I I accept this reality. All right, and I'm 
let's start working towards the big boy over there. HP gain. Okay. A marching we will go. Alright, yeah, I'll day trail this is where we need to be. I think it's at the end of the area over here. Out of our way! Let us move onward. Oh good. That wasn't too bad, Excellent. I I had a playthrough once, like Normally, uh, Jude and Mila are together so much that, like, generally their levels are going to be, like, in line with one another. I, but, uh, I've had a playthrough before where the pretty much opposite happened where I think it was, like, really early on, uh, I think it was Jude got accidentally spawned, uh, like, you know, just beat the crap out of and died. So he was just like one encounter behind in terms of experience points for like the whole game from Mila. And it was, it was, uh, <laughs> it was a trip. I'll just say that. All right. So this Cerberus Strike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I remember this move a ton. Ready when you are. You owe me. I need to remember to uh, use the power of Maxwell because of the fact that, like, I've got um. What's my name? It because I, I my attack combo or whatever. Um, like I do use the AC with my with my arts. I need to get like remember not to just spam like leave the spot. Look out! Attack! Yeah, here. You have big hands. That he that that he does. Attack. Did it say these things were okay? I thought it said tickle spiders, and I was about to have some questions. Bye. I can still do better. I'm not even actually intending to skip those little tutorial but uh little buttons that pop up or not buttons but like boxes that pop up. But literally, with the, me hitting like, it's like, oh yeah, let's skip the little like moment of them chatting together afterwards. Um, to kind of like keep things moving. I end up missing, uh, er, I end up accidentally skipping. And that's a wrap. All right, not bad. So yeah, I've never, I, I remember trying to use Alvin at one point in time, like in combat, like controlling him. Um, and I remember that like his whole thing is that his sword can kind of hold his gun and the gun basically lets him charge up moves. Um, I, I, however, could not really, did not really figure out much on the way, like the good way to use it. More or less, so... 
I ended up just mostly just kind of sticking with Jude. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Every time he asks that, I will say yes. Hmm. I do seem to possess an aptitude for sword fighting. That you do. There. Those must be the monsters we're supposed to get rid of. Indeed. They certainly don't look like the normal fauna for this area. All right. Let's get the job done. Oh, just fully healed us. Um, sure, what's up? Oh, this. Yeah. Yep. It's over. Oh, and it increased. I did. I forgot that it increases your uh, AC during this phase too. Or is that just a tour? No, that's just a tour. Onward. Easy. Uh, let me, uh, I think... I think you're hearing my Discord notifications. I forgot to go and do not disturb. Sorry about that. It's like half the time it pops into streamer mode, and the other half the time it's like, nah, you can hear it. You okay? I can't complain. No better training than an actual battle. You got that right. Let's head back to Alati Sea Haven and make a report. Let's hoof it. We actually have to walk back? We actually have to walk back. Alrighty. I will try to avoid what I can on the way back while still picking up items. Leave me be! I, Mila Maxwell, will proceed to run away from the enemy. Weird fragment. Other chests over here, are there? My little monkey brain is just sort of like, what if item? Get item. Don't these footsteps sound like they're walking in like wet grass? Saffron. Okay. Like this doesn't sound like you're just kind of hoping it on like normal grass it sounds like the ground is wet at least that's how it, it like comes off to me yeah thankfully the enemies in this game will more or less dash in like a single direction and just sort of like let it like charge Could do it, buddy. I'm pretty sure this has one of those like, oh, we can't go this other direction too far, otherwise, uh, you know, like, we'll stop you, kind of vibes, further down the other way. So we'll just continue, go and turn in. Those monsters won't be tinkling in your water supply anymore. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. And that's how it's done. More where that came from, too. Lots of people with problems out there. And gall to make them go away. You're a real pro at this, Alvin. Hey! 
Mila. Hmm. No fever. How are you feeling? I don't seem to have any strength. Um, have you been eating properly? I've never eaten. Ever? Through Sylph, I drew life from the air. With Undine's power, I received sustenance from the water. Right. What's she talking about? I guess the spirits gave her all the energy she needed. Well, now you're gonna have to nourish yourself the old-fashioned way. Time to learn to eat. I see. So this is what you call hunger. <laughs> Fascinating. It's like a reverse Colette. So, should we rest at the inn? Now that you mention it, I could use some grub myself. Colette was like, oh no, Lloyd, I can't taste anything anymore. This is horrible. Meanwhile, Mila's over here like, oh, oh boy. So this is what hunger is? That's, that's so weird and quirky. There was a there was a special bonus going on earlier. But oh well. Alright, so just for the sake of Alright. So yeah. As you can see, like it's gotten an upgrade there. Go over here, talk to this man. The weapon shop has still been is still level two, so it's a universal thing. It's it gets up, it upgrades everybody. Eesh. So yeah, and then the weird fragments, if I remember correctly, are just universally good. Like if if you look over, like it doesn't have the two times bonus, but it's fifty points. Everything else here is like. Nowhere near that. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, okay. And... Might as well... Honestly, it's one of those things where it's like, may as well just go in and... Donate what I can. We'll, uh, get you to level two, though. I don't think I'll be buying any equipment just yet. It's a little early for that. I only have three. Nobody want burb. Alright. Um. Oh, that's right. Buying adds expansion points. Intelligence work. <sighs> that was quite a sigh. So seriously, you guys are spying for Ajul, right? What? Of course not. I've never heard of the Military Powers Act being used against anyone other than Ajul spies. Ajul. You're thinking too much into this. Why are you so concerned about this? Unless you're spying for Rashagol. No, no. I was just thinking that if you were spying for Ajul, maybe you could use your connections to score me some high-paying intelligence work. You really feel Sorry like... Sorry to disappoint you, but I assure you I will pay your fee. You just have to wait a little bit longer. Fair enough. But even with your special friend discount, the interest is piling up. Merchants don't sell the same weapons, armor, and whatnot to all their customers. If you want to get the good stuff, you have to expand the shop. Yep, yep. I'm tutorial. Have, have fun. Alright, um, uh, boop. And got that. Got that. Yo, Mila's just walking around in the trench coat. Do 
I still not have enough for the, uh... I don't. Okay. Okay. And let's just check in on accessories. That is very expensive. No, oh, thank you. You just did no items? Yep, okay. Get some grub. Welcome. Three rooms, please. But before that, can we get something to eat? Oh, my apologies, but our cook isn't in yet. Hey, is she okay? Can we at least use your kitchen? Yes, please. Help yourself. Your friend looks like she's about to pass out. You gotta get her to eat something. M my stomach. It really is growling. <laughs> and here I thought that was just a silly human expression. I think your friend may be going insane. Yo, we deep frying something? Is that what this sound is? Mabo tofu? Hey, not bad. Not bad. It's good. I quite enjoy ingesting calories with you. <laughs> Humans should learn to cherish these simple pleasures. I mean, sometimes I do. Good morning, Alvin. Sorry you had to carry me up there. Don't worry about it. Just part of the job. Oh? <laughs> so now what are you We're gonna do? We're just taking do? care of big old baby. Well, good morning. Good day, Jude. I was just about to share my plans with Alvin. What is it? I'm thinking of returning to Nia Kara. Is that your hometown? More accurately, it's where my shrine is. If I go back, I might be able to resummon the four. So, she really is Maxwell. This is where you come in, Jude. Will you accompany me to Nia Kara? What? It's true that you brought your current situation upon yourself, but I bear some of the blame as well. I'll put in a good word for you with the people of Nia Kara. I'm sure they'll look after you. Yeah. Wow, you've put a lot of thought into this. Yes. Remember when you told me I seemed unconcerned? I decided to take that to heart. Good job. Mila, you don't need to practice your swordplay anymore? No need to concern yourself with my martial abilities. Well, if nothing else, you know how to swing the pointy end. Okay, I'll come with you. Good. You needn't worry. A little more practice wouldn't hurt, though. You think so? Better safe than sorry. Come find me once you're ready to go. Wait, you're coming with us, Alvin? Why not? I've come this far. Gotta get paid hey, somehow. Mila? Hmm? Thanks. Alrighty. Food merchant. Alright. Get all this I can't buy. Alright. Um I think. Isn't this a thing where... Uh, a 
let's buy the... And then I think you just use it from here, right? Yeah. Ideally, you would want to have like one of everything, but that's expensive. Alright, uh... Good to go. If we were trying to really like min-max hard, we would worry about food, but... We're not... We'll be, we'll be okay. Ready to hit the road? Yeah. Mila, you said it's north of here? How far? Less than half a day's flight time. <coughs> If we could fly using Sylph's power. Yeah, about oh, that. Oh, well, I'm afraid my wings are, you know, non-existent. I hope we can find a place to rest along the way. The map showed a village in that direction, so we should be okay. Either way, we can't just stay here. We must press forward. I know, I know. It's time to forge ahead. <laughs> Alvin's like, I've already, I've just accepted this, and I, this request, and I already regret it. Is Milo really that Maxwell? She does act a bit nutty, but she looks normal enough. I think it's true. When I first met her, Mila had the four great spirits with her. What? Get out of here. No, seriously. Fire spirit Efreet, water spirit Undine. I think that's the most wind genuine spirit, noise and that Alvin May has made. It was the first time I'd ever seen them in person, what? but there was no mistaking who they were. That's a mighty exclusive club. Can't imagine they hang out with a lot of mortal girls. Yeah. All right. Side quest. The head chef said I need to learn how to make soda rice. Unfortunately, I don't have a first clue how to go about it. Could you help me? Sure. Thank you. If I can just eat it just once, I should be able to figure out how to make it. Uh, so, isn't that just go and buy soda rice? Oh, I have that already. Okay. Ah, so this is soda rice. I oh, I see. They use miso as a secret ingredient to balance the soda and the rice flavors. Thanks. Now I'll be able to grow and improve as a chef. I have never heard of anybody using soda in fried with rice. More monsters have taken up residence at the lake west of the Sea Haven. I asked a local mercenary to take care of them, but I'm afraid the, oh, the monsters got to her. Could you go to the lake and rescue her, please? Thank you again. Perfect. More months. Alrighty. Yeah. I'm... What's your name? The side quests in this game are actually pretty decent for, like... <sighs> Get mon money. The sea air is making me feel unpleasant. Well, uh, we're gonna be away from that sea air now. So we basically need to go back where that little uh, that tutorial fight was at, inside and out. Oops, gotta straighten my scarf. You sure do love that thing. Okay, so it is in the Don't tight. you? It's one of Fismage's finest, custom made for yours truly. I don't know much about brands, but it does look good on you. You gotta be careful about what you wear, kid. It's how the world judges a man. I'd rather think what's inside is what counts. Yeah, and this is how what's inside gets projected to the outside. You don't believe some people shape what's outside in order to conceal the ugliness within? <laughs> well, if you can't see through a false front, isn't that your problem? I mean... So you blame the victims for being deceived? If that's really what you believe, Alvin, it tells me all I need to know about what's within. Man, I sure slipped up this time, huh? That's, a, that's one of those yikes reactions. Like, yeah, personal accountability does, like, you know, still need to be there. I do think that getting yourself tricked is something that you should address and deal with, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that, like, the other person is scot-free. I feel like... 
It's probably one of those things where you should just be blaming both people rather than like, oh no, it's their at fault, not me. Walking sure is grueling. That's unexpected coming from you. I'm just used to having Sylph fly me everywhere. The only time I ever really walked was when I used Undine to travel across water. I see. Maybe this is your punishment for treating the four great spirits like your personal servants? Servants? They may help out now and then, but they're the ones who pester me. They're like a bunch of bickering in-laws that never go home. <laughs> oh boy. Did you just call the four bickering in-laws? That pouty Mila face. It, it could... It could do a lot of things. It could cause wars. And wars. Alright. Let's head back over here. Leave me alone. Gavin. Partners in crime. Compared to Fenmont's night climb, the sky in Anjul sure is bright. That's true. The spirit climbs here are much more stable. What are you talking about? What do you intend to climb? C-L-I-M-E. Surely the great Lady Maxwell knows all about the subject? Don't flatter yourself by assuming I recognize every arbitrary word you humans create. Human arrogance can be so trying. Mila, do you know what Riza Maxia is made of? As if I wouldn't know? The power of spirits composes the entire natural world. Right. The term spirit climb refers to the balance of spirit power. When that power is out of balance, nature can become polarized in one direction. That's why there are unusual spirit climbs, like the perpetual night of Fenmont. Night I see. being a night Thank spirit, you. I guess. Now I understand. You're very good at explaining things. My pleasure. Oh, I see how it is. I guess I'm just an arrogant human compared to little old innocent Jude. I mean, this is true. You said this true thing there, Alvin. Were you expecting me to disagree with you? Because you're wrong. How about the idea? Yo, we got a good chunk of people with that one. Hmm. Should've gone a little easier. Uh, thank you. A little longer and I would have been made dinner. You guys just look like you know how to fight. Just don't let your guard down like I did. And now we need to report. That'd be good. Monster bondage. You see the way Mila freezes those enemies in their tracks? I guess she really is into bondage. Oh, is that what the technique is called? Oh, no. Aww, I thought I'd get more of a rise out of you than that. I'm just tired of your lies and innuendos. Just give it up already. <laughs> oh, and now I'm the one being tied down by your sadistic decrees. Sorry, Jude. I'm not that into bondage play. But it is true that some people can only experience true intimacy when they're Mila, why do you know about this? The conversation takes a surprising turn. Are you speaking from personal experience? No, I read it in a book. It was called Men and Women Beneath the Sheets. What sort of books are you reading? There was a similar comment in The Aesthetics of Being the Catcher oh, as boy. well. That one's probably about something different. Oh? Well, well I wouldn't really know. Sounds like Mila's more into total freedom than tying anyone down. Uh. Mila's just reading all of the sex ed manuals for whatever reason. So I guess it's more of one of those like, like I I'm just ima imagining those sort of uh, uh, like magazines of like here's some top ten hot. Hot tips to go and make your man feel better in bed or something like that, you know? It's like, I have this duty to go and protect the world. And in the meantime, I just go and read a bunch of arbitrary books that I guess, why not? Considering how, like, 
how like sort of detached from humanity Mila kind of like feels. It's probably similar to like somebody reading like a veterinarian book, I guess, to her. It's like I need to understand dog nature, why they do the things they do. And she's like, I'm gonna try to understand human nature that way. You rescued her, thank you! Thank you, give me months. Save. Alright. I think we'll be good on experience. So we can just kind of hoof it. I think once I think we'll probably stop once we get to the village. Seems like a good like sort of breaking point. My bottle. Copper on. It's just a bunch of rucksacks laying about everywhere. Some poor poor soul has just gone and left all of their goods laying around everywhere. Like I don't even know what to do with this. I've gone and abandoned all of my goods. Somebody was out here playing Minecraft just left a chest full of like 10 pieces of wood and hanging out in the middle of nowhere. I think... I don't think there's another like wild, uh, like, said wild area like this is freaking Pokemon. I don't think there's any other like wandering zones. I think this next spot is an actual town. Go away, dog! Hamo, here we go. Wow, that's an impressive amount of fruit. <laughs> I'm catching a whiff of cider. Oh, they must have orchards here. Good old cider. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors here. Do you live here, ma'am? I would hope so. I am the mayor. Is this the right road to Niakara? Niakara? Now that's a name I haven't heard in ages. What do you mean? It's what people called a long-forgotten village. I don't even know if it still exists. I heard tales of the village as a child. People claimed it lies beyond the Kijara Sea Falls. Well, where can we find it? We know the way you to go then. You need to cross some seriously rugged terrain to get there. It won't be an easy journey. In that case, we should probably rest here before heading on. Agreed. I'm afraid our little village doesn't have an inn. Not much call for one. But I've an extra room in my house. You're welcome to use it if you like. Thank you for your hospitality, ma'am. All right, we're gonna save here, and this will be it. So, thanks for coming by. Uh, tomorrow will be more Trails in the Sky SC. We've uh, got most of the clues that we need in involving the ghost hunt in that game. So we'll be uh, making our way to the academy once we take care of some side quests. But yeah, I uh, hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I wish you all the best of luck. Ta-da!